question number 28 deals with parallel plate a capacitor. So, when you construct a capacitor, you have three types of capacitor as part of your syllabus. One is parallel plate capacitor, spherical and cylindrical. First one, parallel plate capacitor. You take two plates, those are parallel, apply a voltage across the same, a battery. Positive terminal of the battery is connected with one plate and it will have positive charge. The other one, negative terminal of the battery, low potential, it will have negative charge. Electric field lines start from positive end up at a negative. So, let the charge present be Q and the voltage applied be P naught. In all cases, we want to find out electric field in all types of capacitors, be it parallel plate, spherical, cylindrical. We want to find out how electric field varies with the distance that is 1 and how potential varies with the distance. Notes on the table. One full page, draw the given diagram, one full page. purpose. We want to find out capacitance. Capacitance means what? Charge per unit voltage. This is something which we want to find out. This is equal to what? Step 1. We have to find out E, electric field intensity. How E varies the distance? E represents what? Number of lines per unit area. These lines are parallel, neither converging nor diverging. So, number of lines per unit area will remain same. If number of lines per unit area remains same, as per definition, E is equal to what? E is equal to number of lines per unit area. If Q is charge present, number of lines is Q by epsilon from 1 coulomb charge 1 by epsilon 2 coulomb charge number of lines 2 by epsilon from Q coulomb charge number of lines Q by epsilon A is area of each plate this plate plate 1 positive plate the other one negative plate area of the plate is A <coughs> then electric field is equal to what Q by epsilon naught. Q is constant, epsilon naught is constant, area of the plate is constant. So, electric field is also constant. Its value is equal to what? E is equal to epsilon naught, sorry, electric field E is equal to Q by epsilon naught. Two minutes with you to write. Step one E is equal to Q by epsilon naught. Step 2 is to find out the potential difference between this plate and this plate. Potential difference that is we want to find out V naught. Electric field E is along x axis. If you apply say as an example, say 10 volt battery here. This plate is at a 10 volt, the other is at a 0. So, this plate, all these points are at same potential 10 volt. It is termed as eco-potential surface. 
next all these points in this plane will be at say 9 volt next all these points at a 8 volt as you move 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 this is how the potential will vary what is the relationship between e and v e is equal to minus dv by dx e is a constant so minus dv by dx is equal to e e is a constant what does it mean dv by dx means what anyone slope if slope is constant and value of e is what positive e is a positive constant this is negative dv by dx is what is a constant and its value is uh, sorry dv by dx will come out to what a constant with a negative sign dv by dx is equal to minus some positive constant means what it, it is minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 dv by dx is a slope if slope of a line is constant a slope of a graph is constant that means what it is a straight line so if this point is at potential v naught this point is at potential 0 graph yes comes out to be what graph comes out to be a straight line we need it in number of objective questions one minute with you to pen down concept I repeat E is equal to minus dv by dx covered in previous questions E is a constant so dv by dx is equal to minus some positive constant so as an example you can say E is equal to minus 2 minus 3 this is what you get For calculation purpose, you can write dv is equal to minus e dx. And total only the magnitude delta v potential difference is equal to what? Yes, integration of a e dx, only magnitude, nothing to do with the sign. What does it mean? This is e, this is dx, it represents what? small area total area under the graph integration means a total area under the graph this total area area under ex graph let the distance between the two plates be d then the area of a rectangle is equal to what yes yes length d into breadth this value is e q by epsilon a that is e into d what is value of e q by epsilon a d what is the potential difference between these two points v naught so it is equal to v naught one minute with you to complete Step 3, what is the answer to step 2, V naught is equal to what, Q by epsilon naught A D. So in all these questions, first step is to find E, second is to find V, third is to find capacitance, capacitance is equal to what, charge by V naught from second V naught is equal to Q by epsilon naught A D what is the value of Q by V naught yes value of Q by V naught is equal to epsilon naught A by D 
capacitance is equal to f naught a by d. F naught is what permittivity of a free space, its value is constant. A is what area of the plates, d is the distance between the plates. So, these two a and d are physical parameters, area of the plate, distance between the plates. If there is a material in between the two, if there is a material, some material say oil, paper, if there is any material in between the two plates having epsilon r, then capacitance is equal to epsilon naught epsilon r a by d. If nothing is mentioned that means what? It is free space and for that epsilon r is equal to 1. For any material mica, oil, examiner will give you the value of epsilon r say 6. Then you will put epsilon r is equal to 6 relative permittivity of a material. Two minutes will you to complete. Refer to numericals. Numerical number 6. Numerical number 6 is the plates of a parallel plate capacitor are 5 millimeter apart and 2 meter square in area. The plates are in vacuum. A potential difference of 1000 volt is applied across the capacitor. Calculate number 1 the capacitance, 2 the charge on each plate, 3 electric intensity in the space between the two plates. Write what is given. Yes, 5 millimeter apart distance between the plates is given. How much? 5 into 10 to power minus. What else? Next. Yes, area of each plate A is equal to 2 meter square. Next, the plates are in vacuum, a potential difference of 1000 volt. 1000 volt, potential between the two plates is 1000 volt. Epsilon r is equal to 1, vacuum, free space, epsilon r is equal to 1. So, we need not mention 1000 volt. Find what? Number 1, capacitance. Find A part, capacitance. right formula for capacitance. Capacitance is equal to what? Capacitance is equal to, yes, epsilon naught A by D. Epsilon naught is equal to what? 8.854 into 10 raised to power minus 12. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 per 9. We can solve this value from that expression also, but it comes out to be this. You can point uh, write this 8.8. .8. Area 2, distance between the plates 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. Solve it. Find the capacitance. You will get the answer first in farad.
find the value of capacitance? Approximately 3.5 into 10 raised to the power? Minus 9 Farad. How many of you are getting this answer? Second part, B part is what? Yes. Charge on each plate. Find Q. B part is to find out Q. Yes. Relationship. Definition. C definition is equal to Q by V naught. Q is equal to what? C into V naught. Put a value for capacitance and value for voltage. Capacitance is equal to what? 3.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 9 into voltage. Voltage is 1000, 10 raised to the power 3. What you get is charge is equal to 3.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 coulomb. Correct? So charge is 3.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 coulomb. Third part, electric intensity, electric intensity, C part, find E, E is equal to what? Change in voltage by change in distance, this is how electric field works, rate of a change of voltage with the distance, change in voltage by distance. Or Second option is E is equal to Q by epsilon A, your choice, you will get the same answer. E is equal to potential difference is what? V naught divided by distance D. V naught is equal to what? 10 raised to power 3. D is equal to what? 5 into 10 raised to power minus 3. Solve. Yes. Yes. 2 into 10 raised to the power 5 units. Voltage by distance, volt per meter. <coughs> Here it is written in Newton per coulomb, same. Either it is force per unit charge or voltage per unit length. 